Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you play a song called Everything I Shouldn't Be Thinking About by Thompson Square. And it starts out with this really, really cool lead leg where you can kind of play fourth fret on the D string. Oh, and if you want to play along with the recording, you'll have to tune down a half step. So you actually have to go to the tuners and loosen it up to E flat, B flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, and E flat. But we're just going to do this lesson in standard tuning. So you start out with kind of a fourth fret on the D string. And then we do a hammer on the sixth fret. So kind of playing the note and kind of letting my third finger kind of carry it over. And then we play fifth fret on the B string with third or sixth fret on the G string at the same time. And then we slide that down two frets to three and four. So you got four, six, six and five, three and four. And then we go to two on the D string and do a hammer on the four. And then we go to three and four on the B and the G string. And then we go to second fret on the B and the G string. And then we go back to that four six hammer on, and then five and six, and then three and four, and then we do the four six hammer on again, and then go back to the three four, and then the two and two together. So we kind of dig it on that lick. That might be kind of a cool way to kind of kick it off, but it also kind of goes through the first part too. So you might want to work that, or you can kind of work some chords. And you start on an E major chord, and we you play E major. First finger goes the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, and third finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major, we go to a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes the G on the second fret, the second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then we kind of do another D, and then we go to an A major chord, and we play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string on the on the second fret. It's a big party on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then through that intro, then we go back to the E, and then a D, but then we go back to E, and then an A. So you could kind of work just downs through that, and actually kind of a three plus five idea can be kind of a cool thing. D, A, E, one, two, three, D, one, two, three, four, five, E, A. Or if you're kind of digging all the strum patterns, one of my favorite strum patterns for a four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E and just tried that a lot, you know. Down, down, up. is to kind of take the E and do the down, down of the strum pattern, and then hit the D for the up, up, down, up, and then do the D with the down, down, and then hit the A with the up, up, down, up. Back the E with the down, down, the D on the up, up, down, and then the E with the down, down, and then the A with the up, up, down. So you're taking the strum pattern and half it for the chords. So you got E, down, D on the up, up, down, D, down, down, D on the up. our verse part. So you might kind of work the downs or you could kind of work the strum pattern. Or what can be kind of cool too is to kind of mix those ideas up. From that first verse then we'll be going into our chorus part. And our chorus starts on the D and then A and then we go to E and then A back D, and then an A, and then an E, and then an A, and then we do a D, and then an A, and then we do an E, and then we go to an F sharp minor. And the way you play F sharp minor, first finger goes across the entire second fret, third finger on the A string, fourth fret, the pinky on the D string, the fourth fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now if you're new to bars, you just want to avoid them. <laughs> you could kind of make this a smaller bar, by doing the top two or the top three or the top four strings and kind of work it that way, but it sounds really good to do that whole F sharp minor. And then from the F sharp minor, we'll be going back to D, and then an A, and then an E, and then an A, and then a D, and then an A, and then an E, and then an A. So through that whole chorus, you've got kind of that D, A,
kind of an intro return. Now something else I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you throw out a bass for the chord. So on the E you'd have Louis for the bass. On the D you'd have a D for the bass. And on the A you'd have the A for the bass. And on the F sharp minor bar you'd have the Louis for the bass. So we try that intro adding bass notes, you could have E with a bass, down the other. Next verse, we kept that idea going. We have kind of that E, D, 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 Basics of how you could strum through everything I shouldn't be thinking about on the Thompson Square. So, good luck!